Hi, I'm Mark Schneider, you watch the Schneider Classics, and we all know this $20 piece of junk. How about another one? Another $20 piece of junk. <laughs> wow. And why am I working on this as it's getting dark? Well, winter's coming. Winter's coming, it means it gets dark sooner. And uh, it's supposed to rain. It shouldn't be this dark yet because over there is blue skies and right above me is black, black, black sky. But you know what? I want to get this lawnmower running before it rains anyways because uh, the better the better. So this old $20 thing that we bought as you can see it's missing the cover and the recoil. The recoil broke on me so what I started doing was I bent, I took it off and I bent a piece of the metal up and I was just tying a string around it with a knot and uh, that worked for a while until the thing both lost spark and compression at pretty much the same time and it gave up. This thing is now maybe a donor. This is probably an old 80s Briggs and Strand. This is like a 2000s Briggs and Strand. Uh, this thing runs, it just has no muffler and uh, no air fill. So we're gonna change that. Unless this thing has no gas at all. No, it has gas and it's now flooded. Oh, it runs now. That's why she doesn't want to run. Look at all that crap in the settlement bowl. Now we're continuing inside in the basement because why not? So here you can see I took off the carb. I'm just taking the float bowl off. There's your little float needle. I'm gum up and. Uh, what my trick is, I just go through all the jets, pretty much, and spray through them, and watch the main center hole. Oh yeah, well that definitely works. There's a fuel line. That's going into the carb. That's blowing into the car. That 
that's your primer hole right there. Right there. So all the holes are clean. It doesn't super matter how the outside of your car cleans as long as the inside is clean. And that way you can see here. Now closer up you can see right here all the little parts. This is just your little priming needle. So this sits like on your float and goes up and down. You see here on the float it like sits pretty much there and as the float fills up it pushes the needle in and such. So you want to make sure the needle end is going down into there so it seats it, closes off the fuel line. Your float just goes in right on top. Sometimes these needles, I can see this one, this slides in and integrates to it. So it has to be put in together. And then your pin for your float. Now this is a very, very basic float, but pretty much for the most part, this is how they all work. Now we just gotta put it back on. So all I did here, because this thr this throttle linkage is junk, is I just hard mounted the return spring so it always wants to fly open. As this is the governor, and the governor will kick her down. Because now, so after forever messing with it. Clean the carburetor, do all new gaskets. Sorry, my face is all dirty because I was working on something else and then I made a short for that. And well, now that works. Now I can put that away for spring. I'll probably mow it one more time before spring comes because my lawn's long. But now let's work on uh, that thing for the next video. So if you want to see more content or see the more content that's going on, because uh, there's this, there's that, there's that, there's an engine, there's that. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hit that, hit that subscribe button because uh, it's just getting started.